Okay, then. My next guest. First under the scene in the 1974 film classic Death Wish, in which he played punk number two. Or was it punk number three? I always get those parts mixed up. He's circus tall, but carnival cute, with a deadpan quality that can, you know, ultimately wear thin after a while. So I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go. But he's here, he's been booked, and there is no use crying over spilt milk. So get yourself a huge can of Raid, because here comes the fly himself, Mr. Jeff Goldenblum. <laughs> Here I come. Well, look, there's well, so much to talk about. Oh, my God. There's so much to look, talk about. Look at that, the Adrian Bembo. You're such a... Because you're a musician yourself. <laughs> Sit down, Jeff Goldenblum. Here, here I go. No. Oh. Oh, thank you. I, I love respect. you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Now, it's, it's Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Yeah, you're saying Goldenblum. Your name is Jeffrey Lind. Yes, that's, that's right. That's an odd name for a fella, Lind. Well... Is it after Lynn Redgrave, I better. No. <laughs> Why do you call a boy Lynn unless you want him to be one of those? I <laughs> know, it seems sissy, but Lynn Swan, Lynn Swan. Lynn Swan, Pittsburgh two. Steeler. Were you a shy child, Jeff Lynn Gold Bloom? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. yes, sometimes. Is that yes from your planet, or how does that work? <laughs> now, what's your idea of a first date? A perfect first date for you. Oh, let me see. A first date, anything. Uh, well, I... Is your head going to fall off? What happened here? Just... <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's so... It's so beautifully mannered. Go ahead. Uh, first dates are very nice. I like... I, I can enjoy dating. You know, just getting to know somebody. Did you ever take that? Viagra? No. no. Oh. You? I took it about a half an hour ago. <laughs> For, I, I get dry mouth, and it helps. Didn't I hear? I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to say anything oh, scandalous. What are you say? But sir, wasn't there something? I'm sure it wasn't. Oh, I, I love when the conversation gets back to me. <laughs> 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 that, that's a nice uh, food combining. You don't mind the food combining. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, that's such a, but wasn't there you and Star Jones? Was there yes. anything in that? What happened? What happened? Star Jones is a is a very complicated girl, and she's she's very beautiful. You know, people say, "Ooh, I hate Star Jones. Ooh, Star Jones scares me." Oh, well, sure. After you get to know her, but in that first <laughs> day, <laughs> there's magic in that first day, <laughs> Jeff Goldenblum. Oh, <laughs> tell me about Ben Vereen. Oh, Ben Vereen. Wonderful. He saved my life, literally. How did he do that? One day in Pacoima, we were shooting on 10 Speed and Brown Shoe, this series that we did Love together. That. Have it on tape. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. And, um, and the, it was a rainy day. I went and into my trailer and closed all the windows, and I passed out. Later, it had turned out that one of the, 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 the tailpipe was smashed into the cabin. And no! There, there were fumes. You have to be careful of those, of those, of those things. Oh, my God in heaven! And I passed How out. did you do? What happened next? If <laughs> I'm really, you know, for the first time I'm awake during this interview. This interests me. I'm sorry. I, do you die? Look at me. No. Oh, that's right. Of course. No. No. Go ahead. Now I went to the hospital and they did, did everything, and then they realized that I'd gotten asphyxiated almost from these these fumes. And was there any permanent brain damage? <laughs> Possibly, I, I don't know. Oh, I hope not. Although, Although I would have loved to have met the old Jeff. <laughs> now, hey, Although, tell me speaking about... of which, yes. The um, oh, I was just going to bring up that oh, I probably even shouldn't do this. My gr my great <laughs> my gr my great grandparents yes. were first cousins. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of the mosaic. Oh my goodness gracious, that's against the law it's in so many states. Let's say I'm making it up. You're making it up. I'm sure I You're am. You're being facetious. <laughs> yes. But that's what you do. You play with 
people's minds, don't you, Jeff Goldblum? Don't you? You kind of, you look and then you, uh, and then you, uh, 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 and it's made you millions of dollars, and, and it's been in this. You're very cagey. I am cagey. And you're very good. Thank you very much. Well, this has been absolutely, we covered a Jurassic Park. We didn't get, that must have been a big payday for you. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Every, every time a, a, one of those mechanical things nipped at your butt, you made another million. I, I know how that works. And I loved you and remember my name. It's Mr. Nude. Oh, Mr. Nud. Yes. You say Mr. Nude. Oh, you... so, that's, a, that's an obscure one. People don't remember that. Oh, I do. Oh, really? I do. I followed your career. I have followed your career to the point that I just said I can't look at it anymore. And I took, a, <laughs> I took about an 18-year break, but I'm right back with the new stuff. Uh... I really do, and I think you're wonderful. And I think that I think you've represented everything that's oh. smart oh. and clever <laughs> and uh, perfect. The fly. That's all you want to do to him. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, ladies and gentlemen. Later on, Julia Louis-Dreyfus.